guys so today's look is a halo smoky look with a nude ish lid so I'm gonna start off by cleaning my brows I already did my brows off camera but I pretty much did my brows with the same products that I used in the tutorial before this one so it is the I believe it's a soft brown um, brow pomade from LA girl and I'm using the hard candy concealer in the shade caramel to clean up my brows once I have my brows nice and cleaned up I'm gonna use a bit of that concealer as my eyeshadow primer you can use any products that you have available to recreate this look if you choose to do so okay I'm gonna use the revolution or makeup revolution London reloaded velvet rose palette and I'm gonna start off with this very soft almost like tan maple shade it's a very not like a deep maple but a very tan peachy shade that's best to describe this color and I'm just gonna apply this in my transition area then I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker shade this one they don't have names on these shadows they just have numbers once I'm done with the crease I'm gonna go in and blend those two colors with my large fluffy blending brush then I'm gonna go in with this darker shade this is more of a chocolatey matte shade I'm gonna apply this to the outer part of my lid and blend it in I'm using a smaller tapered blending bl blending brush I'm just gonna bring this into my crease very slightly and blend it into the transition colors and I'm also gonna apply a bit of this to the inner part of my lid this is how we're going to start building the colors up to create the halo effect. Now I'm going to go in with this brick colored shade and apply a bit of this right next to the chocolatey brown shade towards the center of the lid and then bring it into the crease just a bit. Then I'm going to go in with this kind of like soft black shade. It's not like a black black. It's a very soft black. So if you want to deepen up a color, you can definitely use this and create a very soft smoky look. I'm going to apply a bit of this to the outer part of the lid and the inner part of the lid using a smaller detailer pointed brush. This is just to concentrate the color a bit more. Then I'm going to go in with this matte kind of like nude peachy shade. It's a very, very light shade apply this to the center part of the lid and I'm gonna go back in with a bit of that brick shade because I really want it to show through all right I'm gonna go in again with a bit of that matte shade press it onto my lids with my fingers and I'm gonna go in with the infallible sculpt liner marker from L'Oreal and just do a straight line we're not doing a wing liner today just a straight line across the lid this is just gonna help camouflage the lashes that I will be applying which is stacked lashes um, that I created to kind of imitate mink lashes. I'm using the Monsoor Big Mascara from Lancome which I really do like and I'm applying a bit of that then I'm gonna pop on my lashes. The glue that I'm using is the duo glue the brush on kind okay so I apply a bit of that let it you know get tacky for about 20 to 30 seconds and then pop on my lashes. Now going in with a bit of that black shade, I'm just going to apply this on top of my lash band to help conceal them. Then I'm just going to prime under my eyes using a bit of concealer, the same um, hard candy concealer. And I'm mixing those two shades to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with a bit of the darker black it's kind of like an off black shade using a shader brush from elf and apply a bit of this to the outer and inner part of my lower lash line then i'm going to go in with a bit of the brick shade and apply that on the center but not like directly in the middle okay apply a bit of concealer then go in with this satin finish this is like a very soft champagne shade apply that to the center and a bit more of the brick shade i'm going to go ahead and line my waterline using my ellie girl ultimate eyeliner pencil and then going in with this beautiful glitter liner from urban decay it's called midnight cowboy is one of my favorites from them and this is the finished look i hope you guys like it all right guys so now onto the face i'm using the ColourPop foundation primer this gives me a semi matte finish once I apply it and rub it in okay it helps keep the makeup nice and matte so I don't get super oily I do really like it it's it's not as watery watery as it was when I first got it when I first got it, it was very liquidy but over time it got a little bit thicker so I'm not sure if it's settled in the packaging or what but it's definitely better now than when I first received it received it <laughs> 
Sorry, guys. I'm tired. Um, and I'm, I'm probably sure you're tired of hearing me saying that I'm tired. But I am. And I'm a human being. I get tired. But I wanted to finish this video for you guys. So as always, foundation, I'm using Maybelline Superstay in the shade Coconut. I'm still holding on to my coconut. All right. And I'm using this fancy smancy brush from Marc Jacobs that I got actually from Glambot a long time ago. So I'm just going to blend out all of this foundation. Okay, and once I have it blended out, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop concealers using the shade Tan first. I'm just going to apply a bit of that right under the eye area. Then I'm going to go in with Deep Honey, and this is going to help, you know, tone down that brightness of that concealer. And I'm going to wing this out, create like this feathered look under my eye area and bring it around my nose to right above my upper lip, okay? I've just been liking how I do my concealer like this lately. I feel as though it fits my face better. I just like how it looks, you know, but you can definitely not do this. You just do whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable. But I really like how this looks and I like how it looks in pictures as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight my forehead, bridge part of my nose, Cupid's bow area, and my chin as well. I stop highlighting under my cheeks because it makes my face look strange so that's not for me okay so i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and blend out my concealer and as you guys can see it blends in really really nicely i really do like using my foundation brush to blend in the concealer it helps tone it down and help it blend in with the product that's already on my face but if you like a brighter look you can definitely use a brush that doesn't have any product on it okay so as you can see, I'm just doing a tapping motion. I'm not trying to do strokes or anything like that because it's going to create lines in my skin. And right now, well, not right now. Right now, my skin is actually pretty good. This video was filmed about a week or so ago. But, um, you know, I was still kind of recovering from all the breakouts I got from the dollar store makeup. And my skin is finally going back to normal. I do have some blemishes on my left cheek, which are super annoying. But what can we do? You know, well, I can do a few things to get rid of them. All right, so I'm going to go in with the air spun powder. And I'm actually using the little puff that comes with it not a fan <laughs> i threw it out right after this video just not a fan of the little puff it's not puffy enough it's there's not enough fluff in it okay but um i just wanted to try it and see how i felt about it now going with an old going in with an old favorite i'm using the l'oreal pro matte powder in the shade coco and i'm just gonna apply this using a contour brush that i got from royal atlantical if you guys want to shop royal atlantical use code queenie10 to receive a discount off of the website i am an affiliate with them just to let you know all right so i'm gonna contour the side parts of my forehead and closer to my hairline as well and then slightly contour my jawline this is just to help blend the foundation in with the rest of my body because I don't know if you guys could tell but I have multiple colors on my skin <laughs> okay and I'm still dealing with the discoloration from when I had lichen planus it's taking its time to fade I'm not using anything on it to make it go faster I've thought about it but I I don't like obsessing over skin you know what i mean it drives me crazy anyways i'm going in with this eyeliner pencil actually from wet n wild this is the coal eyeliner in the shade Sima brown now and i'm using this as my lip liner today i wanted a darker kind of lip liner and not like a usual light one i wanted to do something darker i'm gonna go in with this beautiful lipstick from l'oreal so gorgeous it's in the shade 804 it's called he thinks he's macho <laughs> too funny all right and once i apply that i'm gonna go back in with the liner and blend it in and then go back in with lipstick and blend that in as well because i don't want the lines around my lips to be harsh but i still want you to be able to see that it is darker around the lips that's just the look that i was going for but if you don't like this look you don't have to do it for the gloss i'm using the la girl gloss topper in the shade clear okay and pop that on and this is going to give me that glossy look that I'm going for. I wanted to do a nude lip with a defined lip line with gloss. That's the look that was in my head, okay? For a highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This name could have definitely be been shorter, not be shorter, but been shorter. But 
they like the long name and I really do like the formula it's very fine the powders are not chunky at all it looks really nice and smooth on the skin so I'm gonna go and fix this hair add a bit of hairspray to take care of these flyaways and brush it in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and reapply a bit of mascara because some of the powder from the air spun powder puff got on my lashes so I went in and reapplied a bit of mascara to take care of that so my bottom lashes don't look dusty because nobody likes dusty lashes nobody likes dusty anything except for donuts I like dusty donuts with sugar <laughs> all right you guys this is the final look if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications and i'll see you soon in another video love you guys bye